Wait, though, do those other enemies, uh, do they like beef jerky? I don't think it's just the dogs. That'd be kind of stupid, right? I mean, I would still appreciate it, but still, it's like, if it only worked on the dogs, that's not really much. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I'm gonna plant it right in his face. I'm <laughs> planting in his face. I gave you beef jerky, bitch. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Kill him! Kill that motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we in there now. They do, so they do take the beef jerky. Yeah, you bitch. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just got to do battle. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I know I'm probably a little beat up after that, but... Yo, I feel like this katana is like the first melee weapon that's actually somewhat effective. Lamp, hoods, and flower vases, I don't need either. Underneath the covers are more display items. No time to be worrying about this. You know what? One thing I realized, though, is that even though the game is on hard, if I make the right choices, the game can get easier as I go along. Just based on the resources that I save, not fighting not making mistakes, saves coming <laughs> and whatnot. Just for example, like that room where that big fat guy was in, the fat enemy, you know, had, had I kept that, that would have been wasted ammo, wasted health, all that, right? And then so saves coming there is going to help me out in the long run. You know, I don't like to depend too much on saves coming, but I'm not above it either. <laughs> but the reason why I say that is because it's like, okay, I got the katana, which is like, seems to be like the first decent melee weapon, to be honest. But also, look at my ammo right now. It's not really not that bad. I got 71 handgun bullets, 21 shotgun shells, got some beef jerky, five of these, five of these, two of these, right? Like, right now, I'm doing pretty solid. Where I can afford to fuck up a few times. <laughs> a bathtub display, there's a dark red stain on the bottom. Ugh. Okay. Was that a damn skateboard? What is that? Oh, no. All right, what's this? Okay. Uh, oh. Door handles. A display of paper towel holders. There's nothing to see here. Okay. Not much interesting here. I guess I can forget about it. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Don't you just love survival horror game bathtubs? Always so fascinating. Oh, I knew it. What did you know, Heather? Oh my God. Oh no. The world is changing. Game over. <laughs> How dare you examine that bathtub? Okay. Oh, so we're in the other world now? Oh, great. I love this place. Oh, no. Not again. Yeah. I mean, it was already bad enough, so. I mean, are you... Did she do this too? Calm down, Heather. I, I'm just, look, I get it, right? You're upset. But wasn't it already shitty? <laughs> right? I'm twisting the handle, but nothing's coming. I'm just saying, it was already pretty bad. It wasn't exactly Disneyland before this happened. 
But you know what, Heather, I got your back. It can't be that bad. It's that bad. <laughs> this is horrifying. I got handgun bullets. The mummy-like thing in the wheelchair is just a doll. Or is it? Something about it makes me uneasy. Why, I wonder. Yeah, dolls are always creepy. Just, you know, rearrange his face a little bit. Like, dirty it up. Yeah. Oh, no, that's what I call creepy right there. Okay, Heather, you got this, baby. Whoa! Do I still have the map? Yeah, this place is, like, totally different. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's withering away. Poor thing. Oh, my God. Heather, it's a plant. Oh, there's something here. Find a holy one. Kill her. <gasps> That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. Probably that detective guy. Find the holy one. Kill her. That's kind of fucked up. Okay. All right, so here. Oh, this guy. I re I do remember him. I saw somebody post him on the the V board on 4chan just the other day. So he must be the next NPC. That's what you call nasty, is it? I get the feeling I'm not gonna like this guy. The name's Spencer. Don't forget it, okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna like this guy. Something tells me he's bullshitting. So you say, but how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She was your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Oh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hit the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That big punk. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Doesn't this place get to you at all? It gets to me all right. Yeah. I find it most fascinating. Wait, I'm not finished talking. I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. <laughs> exactly. I like the way she said that. There's something wrong with you too. Yeah. But look. Heather, let's think about this real quick. Like, maybe it's a Oxidol. Maybe we do need to kind of, oh my God. Oh, yes. Oh, you know, I feel like on hard mode, you appreciate the resources so much more. But I'm just saying, think of it. I get it. Vincent, 99% chance he's a complete scumbag, right? I don't remember, to be honest. But 
think about his perspective, right? He's like, you know what? This is all so fascinating. Maybe you need to just kind of look at this from a different angle, you know? Like, hey, this is kind of just interesting shit. Hell world, hey. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. But damn, like, this kid is interesting, right? There's a junior high school chemistry book here. When you pour diluted hydrogen peroxide onto manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it will help other things to burn. Okay. Does she keep memos like uh, any other games? This is it? Heather, you have not been doing your homework, baby. The TV looks broken. The switch doesn't do anything. I don't need these hangers. Okay. Oh, yeah. We still got the map, too. Okay, pretty cool. It's unlocked. Um, Can I go back to Vince's room? Can we kick it? I mean, he is like the only like human in the area. I don't think I would go in this room. That weird guy's in there. <laughs> I mean, I guess I understand, Heather, but I mean, you can't be picky right now <laughs> as far as like companions are concerned. You don't got a lot of options. I think I'll take the weirdo dude over nobody. You piece of shit. You know, I got to be honest. I'm not a fan of the fact you can hit the doors when you're trying to hit shit. I mean, hit the walls. I get, you know, it's a nice dose of realism, but I don't, at what cost, right? This, see, like, just like that. Like, I, I'm trying to hit the enemy and I'm hitting the damn wall. Yeah, I think I'm going to load this back up. This is just terrible. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't even doing like that much damage really, but yeah, this is, I just saved, so fuck it. Yeah, because Resident Evil Outbreak does the same thing. When you try to attack with a melee weapon close to a wall, you can hit the wall. I'm just not a fan of that. I think that shit just needs, that's one thing that really needs to die. It, like, it's really nothing but a nuisance to the player. It's nothing but a nuisance to the player. But I guess they probably they probably like putting it in the game because just that little extra layer of realism. Like when you get your melee weapon and you hit the wall, or you the fact that you can hit it with the me the melee weapon. But then the downside is that when you're fighting enemies, you you're hitting the wall. You know, this ain't like God of War, or Devil May Cry, where you got big, wide open spaces to fight enemies most of the time. Most of the time, you're fighting in damn hallways and small rooms and shit. So, hitting the wall is uh, gonna happen more often than not. Like, I feel like out of half the times I've swung a melee weapon, I hit a wall <laughs> instead of the enemy. And it's already difficult enough as it is. I, w I got a thought, though. I got a thought. Perhaps different melee weapons are better for different enemies. Like, look at how she holds this. Well, yeah, look at how she holds this, right? So maybe this will be good for, for hitting. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. Look at that. You ain't hitting shit with this. Now, you can do the, the you know, that, the downward swing, to be fair. But look, look what ends up happening in reality, right? She just... This this is this is the reality when you try to do that shit. You still like Come on. My god damn Combat is just infuriating in this game, bro. Oh 
my god. Dude, come on, bro. And then just before, oh my god, bro. <sighs> ah, God, man, I just I hate how unfun fighting is in this game, bro. It, it's just it's not it's just not fun in this game. Combat is just not fun. And again, I got to be fair. I don't know how much of it is because I'm playing on hard. So maybe. But it, just, it feels so clunky, bro. Like, it's never felt this clunky, ever. I just, fin I know I finished Silent Hill 1 and 2 on normal. But this shit is just a fucking disaster, bro. I really hate this combat, man. The, the firearms are fine, right? That's simple. But I always felt like what made Silent Hill stand out is that um you know using melee weapons was actually a viable option as opposed to resident evil's knife <laughs> right which you have to kind of learn as a separate skill in of itself if you want to do that and even then that's just flexing that's not really practical but i, I just I, again I, I hate how melee weapons just i mean what melee is so terrible in this game bro because you're hitting walls it's slow you're getting hit you can block but then you know, if you're timing it, you're just guessing when the enemy is going to hit you. Let's be honest. Like, oh, man, I'm just I'm just disappointed. I really, I am just disappointed in the melee in this game. Cause that's what I always appreciated about this. But whatever, man, I guess I just don't get to enjoy killing enemies with my katana. So now as I look at this, I got to say, OK, well, how do I just run through everybody? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, hey, that's just so sad. That's so sad. I gotta like, I gotta see like, if you you really look at it. I'm so much better off just running around instead of trying to fight anybody. I'm already ten times better now just because I'm not trying to fight. <laughs> Oh, the one elevator that actually worked. That's crazy. I was almost not going to check the elevator, too. I was like, what's the point in checking this elevator? I didn't check that one door over there, bro. I didn't check that one door. And they're not, they're not letting me out. Um, I got to check that door. It's going to fuck with me if I if there's something in there and they're not letting me go back to check it. So I'm going to go ahead and reset and check that, that door over there. It's probably nothing, but the fact that they just closed me out like that. Kind of, kind of messed up. I just, I miss... I miss piping bitches down, man. That, that's it. I just miss being able to run up with the pipe. Silent Hill 1 was the best so far. As far as like like the melee, Silent Hill 1 was the best. I do remember good things about Silent Hill 4's melee, but if I'm going to be playing on hard when I play that, then that might, ch that might, you know, change some things. But I do remember that it was pretty valuable. I don't know if I even need to play it on hard, to be honest, because I do remember that game being kind of a challenge, even on normal. But hmm, I'll think about it. All right. So let me just get a good sense of what, what I'm trying to do. So yeah, it was that door over there. Um, I think like all the way to the right. All right turn that damn light out. I think it was like all the way over here. Oh, shit! <laughs>
I got the light out. How do y'all on me like that? Okay. That was the door I was talking about, right? What about the door, like, right here? All right. That's broken, too. Okay. Um... I mean, I might as well, because I'm, I'm right there. <laughs> I might as well. At least now I have the chance to get through that door without getting hit, so. Let's go ahead and just take advantage of it. Man, I'm just I'm just saying, man, combat in this game is it's not good. The melee combat is not good. You know, I'm just I'm curious to know how much of it is based on the difficulty though. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm gonna look it up though when I'm finished with the game. Or maybe I'll I'll look it up after I get off tonight. Um yeah, after I get done playing tonight. Usually, I don't like looking up like fan reception or different things while I'm playing a game. And so I thought I'd be, even though I beat this like years ago, so I really shouldn't be tripping on that. So yeah, I'll go ahead and check and see. But I want to just see like, am I tripping or is the melee really just significantly worse in this game, bro? Because I don't know if it's just the difficulty or if, or if they just dropped the ball or they just or just the way they designed it. I don't know, but. It just feels terrible. Like, it just feels so clunk. And Silent Hill is already a clunk fest, <laughs> right? Let's be real. Damn, I hit. This is the wrong. This is the wrong spot. Okay. Well, we got hit like one time. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's already a clunk fest as it is. So, but even for Silent Hill, like this is crazy, bro. I'm just hitting the walls and shit. Oh, that, I'm not supposed to use that. Um, okay. Another thing too, though, is like when you hold the directional button in a specific direction, it'll change her attack, right? So she got like the thrust and whatnot, and the thrust can help you avoid hitting the wall, but it's like, it doesn't come out the way it's supposed to. What floor am I on in the first place? So this is the second floor. Um, so what if I go to the first, let's try the first floor. Oh shit, look at that. Um I think I better not fuck with him. <laughs> right. I just wanna check this door real quick, bro. And now that I've done that, I'll leave you be. You know, sometimes you see somebody and you're like, ah, I'm not gonna fuck with him. You know, he looks like he's he's having fun all on his own. He don't need a dance partner. Is this register broken? There's money scattered all over. The register and the cash aren't of much use right now. Hey, you never know. Take that shit with you. <laughs> so we have quite the conundrum. So we got the sleeping enemy over there, but it's like, do we go and get the shotgun shells or leave it be? Just to be safe. I don't know how effective this is gonna be, but I'm gonna leave the jerky right here.
Oh, what's this? And maybe he'll leave me alone. For some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. I hope it's not rotting. I got pork liver. All that's left is a red blood stain and one god awful bloody stench. Alright. Yo, this guy was fucking no. <laughs> like, he was no threat. He was just sitting there asleep. Okay. So, what are we looking at now? Alright. So, we got this door and that door. Locked. And guess what? Locked. Okay. Okay. And he's still over there doing his thing. We're not going to bother him. All right, so, all right, it's locked. So we're probably gonna get over there and unlock it later. I do wanna check them out, but, eh. <laughs> you know, he looked pretty dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just, I'll do it later after I save or something. That motherfucker looked dangerous, ain't he gonna lie. He looked like he'll just rip your damn head off. Can't go to three, but can't go to four. Two, three, and here we are. Okay. Oh, hell no, this is terrible. A bulletin board is falling down here. There's nothing useful written on it. Hmm. All right, let's get the lay of the land here. All right, so. Oh, I better be careful there. Okay. Two doors. And this one is locked. Hold up. Huh. It's like a little squeak when you do the quick turn. That's cute. All right, Heather, come on. All right, two locked doors. Fantastic. Let's go to five. A little bit spookier. These bathrooms? Oh, please let me go in. God, it's like they won't let me in the bathrooms no more, man. Oh. I miss the bathrooms. Whoa! Okay. I'm gonna drop some jerky. I'm probably still gonna get hit. Crazy trying to fight these guys in here, dude. Like, it just seems like it's really just such a game of avoiding getting hit more so than fighting anything. Like, even think about it, a room like that, even if you were gonna try to use your your guns, you're just wasting ammo, man. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna spend like You're gonna spend like, uh, like you don't have a lot. You're gonna spend probably like a fucking sixth or fifth of your ammo reserves just trying to get out of there. Like, it ain't worth it. And I don't know what the hell this room is. Okay. 
Okay, so we got in here. This is the sixth floor, right? Or is this the fifth? I already forgot. This is six. Okay. Okay. Wait, what did she take? Was it a matchbook? This was in some company's a conference room. Looks like it was used to light someone's cigarette. Got to do something with it before it goes bad. But what could you... Oh, shit. What could you possibly have to do with that shit? Nice. Excellent progress, baby. Got to do something with it before it goes bad. Flame purifies all. By these remains, may a person find the road to paradise. No way. I've never seen it, but I do know it somehow. Can I put the pork liver in here? Okay. You know, I have a thought of what I could probably do with that pork liver. Since I just saved, I'm going to try it out. But I'm, I'm a little worried about something. And I'm thinking that what if you have to use that pork liver on that monster, like that monster that uh, <laughs> I didn't dare approach. I'm going to go down there and check him out real quick. If it's nothing, then I'll just load it back up. But I should just go ahead and you just opportunity to see what he's all about i just i didn't want to walk up on him and then he just straight murdered me in the face yo these enemies are super annoying because they they cling to the ground like that kind of hard to hit they remind me of like the monkey motherfuckers from silent hill one those guys were a little difficult to deal with too because um the way they were just they were pretty quick and they would just hop on you from a distance I mean, they were not very difficult if you were going to use uh, a, a weapon. But... I mean, use a, a long-range weapon. But with a melee weapon, it was hard because you had to really time it very, very precisely to get it right. Okay, so this is it right here. What the hell? I don't want to get too close, but I think it'll attack me now. Why not? All bark and no bite. Anyhow, it's in the way. I can't get past it. And it's the ground floor, too. This ought to be the exit. And he doesn't want that. Okay, let's reset it again. Okay. I just had, I had to check. I had to see what the hell he was all about. I thought maybe if you walked up to him, he would just grab you by the face and rip it off. They didn't use the skull as a piss as a piss a piss pot. <laughs> oh god. Alright, but at least we know what he and what he will and won't do, at least right now. I can't get too excited about saving ammo from running away all the time because um It's probably gonna go right down the toilet fighting a boss at some point. All right, so we checked that out. So let's just see what this art gallery has in store for us. 
I'm sure the horrors and the darkness, the blood and the guts would be magnificent. All right, so let me check the map again. This is what we're doing. Okay. Wait, there's a room here. Is it? Okay. Wait, what about this? Is this that? Nah, wait. Yeah, this is one of them, but there's nothing here. And, okay, it's gotta be something in here. All right, flame purifies all, so. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Okay. Flame by these remains, may a person find a road to paradise. Oh. It foams when you put it on. Vase is something broken. Flame purifies all. All right. Mm, all right. I'm confused. <laughs> Picture. But I haven't checked all the doors yet either. Okay. All right. Let's check that last door. All right, it's my last hope. Damn. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me check one more time. I guess I'm just in denial at this point, but it seems like I need something else. supposed to do with this hmm I should have known better than that yeah I mean I just I don't have it whatever it is I don't have it I got three key items and none of them this was Light, light someone a cigarette. Wait, I can't. Oh my god, bro! Did I put it in the wrong order? I'm glad I checked that shit again. I would have been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. That's why I need to stop this whole combined shit, bro. You ain't Resident Evil, bro. I tried that shit though. Did I just not combine it in the right order or something? Whatever, I'm not, it's whatever. Let's just be thankful that we tried it one more time because I almost started running around for no reason. Oh, hold on, let me go back real quick. And I was worried because I knew I checked damn near every door. So like, what could, it, what could I have missed, you know? I guess, you know, it's always possible that you can overlook something, but... I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I was a little worried. I, like, I don't want to run around this goddamn hell world shit, bro. I'm trying to get home to my dad. Okay, what's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Let me put this damn katana up. I'm like a damn fool. Oh, what you see, Heather? Oh, okay. What are these papers? The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said. 
But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Damn, no beginning and no ending. I really didn't understand that story. It's probably just some pages torn out from the middle of a book. Damn. Like, that's just fucked up. Stop eating people. It's bad. Nom, 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 nom. The end. Oh, shit. Well, we might as well try to use this jerky whenever we can. I mean, and I always forget where it's at. Go for it. Okay. Dude, hell no. Alright, this is gonna be kind of. It's three of them. Shit. What the fuck? It's unlocked. Ah! It's too many of them. What the fuck, dude? This is crazy. Look, I get you. It's hard mode. Alright. But you ain't killing shit like this. This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, I got, I, I understand this is hard mode, but it's like, they just really don't want you killing anything. You're not gonna, you're not gonna kill anything like this, is my point. Like, it's not even practical to even try to kill shit, bro. Like, this is just ridiculous. What the fuck? Oh my God, <laughs> dude. You know what? Fuck it. Oh my god, dude, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Nice. All right, whatever. I'm glad that I was, I had the presence of mind to calm down when I got hit by that monster though. Cause I was about to waste the ammo trying to kill him. Right. Instead of just grabbing what was there and at least coming out somewhat on top, right. Taking some damage, but you know, coming out with some extra resources. I almost let my anger get the better of me. Oh, Lord. God, I hate these motherfuckers. All right. You know, I thought maybe there'll be a point where there'll be an enemy that I could like fight reasonably. Still ain't happened. I got a silver coin, the lamp shining on some old silver coins. I know I've seen before. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. I mean, I'm no thief. I might act like one now and then though. <laughs> oh, Heather. There are your standard coins and bills over there. Of course, it's not like money might not come in handy. And it goes without saying that it would be nice to have, but I think I'll pass on it anyway. Just put it in your pocket. Just put it in your pocket, bitch. I ain't saying run around with, you know, pockets full of money, but I would have took it, you know, a nice fat roll. Between that and the cash register, right? You put that in your you you look look at your look at you got like four pockets on your on your damn on your coat, your little vest. I wonder if yeah, this makes sense, right? Like, I think they probably designed her and realized, wait, where would she put her stuff? And somebody was like, give her a vest with pockets. <laughs> I just thought about that too. Like, where could she fit all that? There's something written on the wall. Thus, one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet fate have no price. Ah, but do people know this? What? 
I am kind of thirsty. I feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Um, do we put the coin in here? Clearly. Of course, it's always some weird shit. It can't just be a Mountain Dew. It's got to be a damn, what, a rock, a jewel. Oh, a key. Life insurance key. Okay. Life insurance key. No, forget about it. Don't need any more coins. All right. So that's great. We got what we needed. But the horror is that we got to run right back through this bitch. But I think that door right there is going to be the way, right? Come on. Go, go, go. Okay. Life insurance key. But where the fuck is the life insurance? I don't even remember where that place is at. I'm gonna try to get back to that. No, no, no. Uh, hold on. I need to get somewhere I can save first. So if I go out this door, go left, and then run like hell. Oh! Shit, of course. Whoa, shit. The more times you have to backtrack trying to do shit like this, like trying to save or fuck, figure out just where you have to go. It's gonna bite you in the ass. You wanna be backtracking the least amount as possible, basically. Right, but I figure it would be worth it just to get a quick save in. Uh, maybe I didn't need to do this, but the reason why is that I don't remember where that life insurance place is at, at all. <laughs> I really don't remember. So I'm, I'm gonna have to do some some fumbling around anyway. Can I still go through here? <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, I can't get right back to the elevator from here, though. God, I have no idea where that damn life insurance place is at. Like, I don't have the slightest clue. I don't remember. Maybe it's on the first floor. Maybe. Let me see. Maybe it's on the first floor. 
I just don't remember. But the if I check the door, then it should be visible on the map. Like, it could be that door right there, now that I think about it. All right, that's the guy that's not to be fucked with. Yeah, hello. Okay, oh, great. Fantastic, let's go check the right first. All right, locked door, of course, and a locked door. You know, Silent Hill, they really gotta figure out like an alternative to all these locked doors, bro. It's pretty ridiculous. It sounds so fucking close. What the hell? Damn. Hope you guys are having fun. My God. Okay. This is this is end of that crappy fairy tale I found. Okay. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granting their wishes. Healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more into the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again. No, this time is your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very weak, no, very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets would just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui, ego edis. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus, the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. I can't believe I said it right. Nani? What was that? Oh, shit, we're gonna find out very soon. Are they trying to tell me something? I think what they're basically trying to tell me is that for the next boss, don't try to shoot him, <laughs> right? I'm mashing buttons like crazy, bruh. All right, whatever. Um, wait. Oh yeah, that must be. Okay. Oh, they're gone. A bunch of junk blocking the way. Oh, he's all he's all relaxed now. So I guess. I guess that was just them telling you how to defeat the monster then, right? She uttered but a single spell. Alright. I just wanted to see. I thought maybe they dropped something for me. You know, give me a little goodie. Oh, wait a minute. So when she said the words that. <laughs> okay, okay, that's great. What's this? You're looking at something, baby. What you looking at? There's a book on the ground. It's the first part of that fairy tale. Let me try rereading re it in the right order this time. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and very bad monster. Is this writing done by a three-year-old? It would catch people and crunch them up with his big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha, take that. Their swords slashed and their spears flashed. But the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into his mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? 
He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. The first part, I'm sure I've read this before somewhere, but I feel like that's the first time I've ever read the, that ending. Oh, well, whatever. It's no time for me to worry about that. I just want to go home already. Let's get the fuck out of here. White light. I made it. Uh, yatta. <laughs> okay. It's a sign for a cafe. Oh, that's the one I was just in. Okay. You know, the need to explore never ceases, man. Never ceases. It was like a Ash Williams car from Evil Dead. Yeah, I'm looking around. A police car. Oh, God. I wonder if that's it right there. Oh, man. Survival horror games are so exhausting, though. Especially, like, right now. Playing on the hard difficulty. I'm really curious, though, man. Like, I wonder what the game feels like playing on normal. It's been so long since I experienced that, so... I don't have anything else to do in this building. I have to get home. But oh well, you know, we, we're we committed to hard mode, man. And so far, we're doing pretty good, to be honest. It's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's really, all right, it's been kicking my ass a bit. I hate to go lie, but like that's what you're supposed to, that's what it's supposed to do, right? I would say, again, the only real bad thing about it is I want to smash heads with pipes and I can't. I think we're home now, though. I don't have a map of this area. Uh, doesn't she have a key? One oh two. So what's that? That's it right there. Her door is the first one there. Okay, it's not my place. It's not my place. Ah, I like that. I like that. I'm still gonna look around though, cause I. You know, I want to find items. Right, it might not be anything laying around, but you just got to be careful. I can't afford to leave anything. But it doesn't seem like they really give you much unless you're in like a, you know, a, a dangerous locale. But, but this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? The mailbox is empty. It's like having someone spit in your sacred place. Looking at that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? Okay. Wow. We made it. We made it to Heather's house. All right. Before I get out of here, I got to at least see what's in there, right? I mean, I guess I could end it here on the cliffhanger, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to end it right here. I'm going to end the, the stream here on the cliffhanger. We'll see what is in store for heather in her home next time we're gonna end it now so hope you guys enjoyed that and i will see you 